Hey, what's up you guys? It's Zach with PC Bros. And today I'm gonna to be showing Jake how to install a tower cooler. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get into the video, I wanna remind you of some PC Bros things we got going on right now. November is almost done. So if you want to enter in our first ever sweepstakes, make sure you do it now before the end of the month. All of the details are right here on the website. Make sure you read over them before entering, but it is completely free to enter, no purchase necessary. And PC Bros holiday deals are going on right now. So if you're looking at getting a pre-built or a gaming PC this holiday season. Don't miss out because we're offering some good discounts as well as every PC purchase coming with an extra large mouse mat and a cleaning kit for free. So don't forget to check out PCBros.tech this holiday season and get a gaming PC today. So before you open that bolt, let's go over the tools that you're going to need. So you're only gonna need two separate tools here. This is a Phillips screwdriver and you're gonna need a box cutter to open things. So this is a very simple installation really. And let's take a closer look of what you get in it. So usually all tower coolers, this is a one fan tower cooler. You get the little installation guide. Usually all tower coolers will come with similar, the same stuff. Now you don't need to buy a separate tower cooler uh, for like Intel. They come with both brackets. And this is actually an easier one. We use these all the time. You might've recognized them from a build guide video. But yeah, you have the fan right here. Just keep that to the side. And then we have the hardware in this one. And then the actual heat sink right here. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take off that little peely. And what I like to do, just so I didn't forget if I took it off or not, is stick it to the box. Cause I have forgotten to take one of these off. Cool. And now you're gonna take the hardware and we're going to go over that. This will be the most important part of the whole video. Cause there is hardware for again, both Intel and AMD motherboards in here. So you're not gonna be using all this stuff in here. Now, typically the AMD uh, little standoffs are going to be red. So we know we have that here, so we're not gonna need those gray ones. We can put those to the side. We're going to need those little silver brackets. The other one is going to be for Intel. Yeah, so we're gonna use these silver ones here. So put everything else to the side. You're just gonna need, because we have an AMD, we're just going to need uh, the red standoffs and then those silver, and then we'll need these for later. So what we're gonna need to do is the AMD motherboards come with these uh, little brackets on them. We're going to need to take those off. So this is strictly for AMD motherboards here. So that'll be four screws to remove. And then those are the little uh, little stubs that we're gonna be resting the red standoffs on. Cool. All right, so now that we got those off, it should look like this, where we have four different places to rest the standoffs. We won't need to put the screws on yet. You're just going to rest all four of the red standoffs on those now exposed little stubs. All right, the next step now is we're going to take those silver brackets and we are going to go with the threaded little spot facing up. So flip that around. Yeah, there's a little thread on it. You want that facing up and we're gonna have it go long ways that way, perfect, yeah. And now you should see where the hole lines up and we'll take these screws and then screw the, those into place. So it does take a little bit of patience because if you push too hard, those little standoffs will fall off. Looking good, all right. Now getting that second one on the same way. And if you notice, the brackets are not facing inward to each other, they're facing out. That will give the heat sink a spot to rest. Nice. Yeah, you don't have to screw them in too, too tight. Uh, now your case or your uh, tower cooler should come with thermal paste. This is the thermal paste? Um, yeah. Look into the drawer that I have, and I think I have some better paste there. But I would, I mean, it, using the one it comes with is not an issue, but it's just hard to squeeze out without getting messy. Yeah, I'll just do something like that. Because this is a nice square CPU, I'm, I would just do the X method, just do a nice little X shape. So yeah, make sure you definitely apply thermal paste before putting on the heat sink. All right, so that is a little... Um, <laughs> well, that's not really going to be enough, but we're not going to run this PC. This is just for an example. I'll put a little bit more than that, but because this will be taken off later, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so now we're going to line up the heat sink to those two little threaded. Doesn't matter which way. Yeah, for this one it does actually. Um, that is the wrong way. Okay. Show you, because it, it looks the exact same, but it's not. Do you see how there's a little space in between? There's a little bit more space on this right side. This is where the fan's going to go. And so, better probably yeah, that yeah, from this direction, you can definitely tell there's a little bit more space, yeah, on that side. That's gonna go on the right, because that's where the fan's gonna go. Now, some tower coolers have words and like little arrows. This one actually might have an arrow on the top that shows it. Maybe not. But just make sure you have the more space on the right, because that's where the fan's gonna go. 
because it needs to not push against the ram. Yeah. So now you're going to line it up. It, it is a little bit of a steady hand process and you're just going to rest it and then screw it. Looking good. All right, so we are almost done already. We're gonna take the fan that is nicely packaged and we will remove that. And typically I like the fan cables to face down, uh, the logo facing out, and I want that cable on the off, so facing down and back, but still the logo facing out. So it would be more like uh, this. Oh, uh, okay. So you want it, this cable to be on the bottom because mm -hmm. this is where it's gonna feed through behind the case later. Okay. So like, just like that. Yep, and then you're going to take these little brackets and then on the furthest most hole, we're going to just hook them on. Yeah, it'll be like right here. Yeah. And then it'll hook right here into the side. So again, you wanna go the, yeah, that looks, it's gonna be hard to. I gotta do them both, yeah. Yeah, of. yeah, and then you just kind of hold it in place before you get the other one on. Now it will hook nicely into the, the heat sink here. We have the outermost holes and then you need to pull it just a little bit and it'll hook right in, sweet. All right, we have one last step here, and that is going to be plugging in the CPU fan header. That one right here, we can't really show it in this video, but there is also an ARGB header right there. This will usually go in the back of the PC case where the hub is, so that will power the RGB. But right now, this will actually work, this will turn on, and you successfully installed a tower cooler, Bulls.